All right. So I, I have had such a deep realization. You want to know what it is? Besides, I have to turn the computer on. I do not like programming guitar sounds. Now, there are a lot of people that love programming guitar sounds and tweaking and finding, you know, the right IR with the right this and the right that. I, that's just not me. I don't like, I, it's just not me. And all this fractal stuff is gone. I don't even want to play at church with it anymore. I just want like a little <clears throat> Vox AC-15 with my, I have an extra pedal board and with a little tube screamer and, you know, I can take my timeline off the main board and, you know, my chorus pad, like, like simple. And so that's what I realized. And, and the reason I like the Kemper, and this is just for me, is because the amps are just there. And I just go through them and boom. And there's no uh, having to design anything for I, I just don't like that I just don't dig it and the other thing and it, this again could be just my age or who I am I don't care for the sound of IRs and all that I don't know I just the amp mic'd up in here to me is my thing and I, so so I've got what do I have five amps right I've got two sounds, a deluxe you can clean or cranked. Matchless has two channels. Recto has three channels. This Marshall has two channels, and this is a 77. So I've got like 10 sounds, right? And I've got like five main guitars. Les Paul, Strat, uh, Telly, Gretsch, and, and, and uh, uh, Jazzmaster. And I've got three caps. That's more than all the sounds I'll ever need. And the thing is, there's a, there's a bunch of things that I do like on the, on the Kemper, especially high gain stuff, because I don't really have a lot of high gain. I've got a little bit, but... And then I've got these pedals. And a bunch of these, Matchless, the Mesa, and the, and the 800 all have really awesome effects loops that I can... So that's it. The thing I realized here is also this clean without... The, 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 you know, the power cab and all the cables and all the power. It's just so much better. I may end up putting my turntable back up here. Not sure yet. And the other thing, too, is that um, the thing about this, this Kemper, like people say, oh, that's, that's old, old technology. <clears throat> well, guess what, guys? I'm old technology. <laughs> And if you're watching this video, there's a chance you're old technology. So, you know, you know, so I don't know. It's fine. I mean, look about old technology. About the best sounding amp I own is from 1977. It's never been updated. It's never been modified. The only modification is I put little purple stickers on here so I could see the dang knobs. That's it. So, all... This stuff is going. I did a full backup. Everything. Kemper, or no, uh, the FM9 Turbo, the power cab, the boxes. I already, everybody already wants to buy the expression pedals, but there it is. So uh, this, this is the right choice. This is the right move. And honestly, once church gets back in gear... I'll figure out a little something I want to play at church, like an AC-15 or something. I am over IRs and building guitar sounds. I just, it doesn't interest me. And the thing is, the results are never better than this. Now, these knobs almost never move. That's the thing. You plug them in. It's what it sounds like. Yeah, you can add a little bit of mid-range or back off the presence or a little more gain. But these amps sound like they sound... And they sound like hit records. So, yeah, there you have it. I feel good. <clears throat> I feel good. What? How do you feel, Bo? Bo, how do you feel?
What are you doing to you? I know I love you too. You make two little. Oh, look at that beautiful face. This is my buddy right here. Sorry, I just accidentally poked you in the eye. All right, time to get those kids to school. Who's ready? Who wants to buy a bunch of Axe Effects gear? Let me see if there's anything else I wanted to 